this is wild. This is a really big deal, everybody. This young man uh, is uh, one of our favorite local comedians. Um, he's never been on this show before. He's completely overqualified for this. Let's see how it goes. Make some noise for Austin's own Casey Rocket, everybody. Holy shit. Whoa! Heaven let your light shine down! <laughs> Serious XM radio. Real trap shit. Hell yeah. Goddamn, boys. Turns out Adderall works even better when you put it in your dick hole. Who's with me, huh? The old Pez dispenser trick. Where are my 90s kids at? Huh? I'm sorry, too grunge for you? My mistake. Hell yeah. So young, so grunge. So grunge, bro. I used to fucking cut myself to Kids Cuisine's commercials. Who's with me, boys, huh? Where my fucking 90s kids at? Oh, fuck, the penguins snowboarding on a big pile of mashed potatoes. So young. So young. Slap a diaper on my ass. Send me to daycare, daddy. Here's a fun story. You guys are gonna love this. My dad actually tried to make me wear diapers till I was 24 years old. Fucked up part is, I don't have a dad. <laughs> Who was that man? <laughs> Come on now. The great Casey <laughs> Rocket, everybody. We've been, I've been watching this guy do exactly that for, for like a year now. It's, all he does is smash. I know this is your Kill Tony debut, but he is famous amongst us uh, local Austin comedians. Hello. Absolutely crushing all the time. Long sets, short sets. He's got fucking harmonica out of nowhere, everybody. Come on, guys. This is incredible. He's completely overqualified for this. <laughs> Casey can literally do anything. Uh, he's a monster. Hey. Uh, Casey, uh, you're a real human being, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yep. The song from Drive, remember? Real human being. Fuck, I'm bombing. Uh, oh, I should have kept doing the crab stuff. <laughs> 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 All anybody wants is to see the crap. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I wanted to give you something. Ooh, I'm oh, I'm excited God, about this. Here we go. It looks like... Oh, oh, wow. You show it to the crowd. Well, there it is. It's a picture of Grimace in the White House. <laughs> wow. That is a rare treat. <laughs> is, this what, is this what you masturbate to? <laughs> It's hand drawn. Yeah, I went to <laughs> I went to the school of hard knocks with Grimace. Uh, it's a funny story. Uh, <laughs> no, I just keep that on me at all times, uh, just in case. You never know when shit's gonna hit the fan. You might need a picture of Grimace in the White House to get you out of a tough bind <laughs> when your back's against the wall <laughs> and the bullets start flying. You never know when a sneaky little picture, baby little grimace, gets you out. I'm done with that voice. Okay. Uh, Dick it a little too. You never know. I did it again. I did it again. Old rocket. Thickest nipples in the room. Some things never change. <laughs> I don't know, man. You said you were like... Casey, you're a real person. I was like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm just here to flick nips and give out pictures of Grimby, baby. <laughs> then it's off to the old methadone clinic. <laughs> this is all he does all the time, by the way. He could literally do it for like hours continuously. 
<laughs> yep, we're all riff energy. It's all riffs all the time. That's all. absolutely right. And you've gotten good at riding this wave. That's actually your whole thing, and it's incredible, and it smashes all the time in front of all different audiences, shapes, and sizes all the time, 100% of the time. Thank you so much. It turns out projecting into the microphone while being constantly entertaining while mixing in well-written material works in this art form. For those of you that uh, signed up for the bucket tonight that got up earlier, this is uh, how you do it. You <laughs> jokes. Thanks. Thank you, guys. There was one guy earlier. I don't know if you saw him, Casey, but he came up here and he's like, well, you might be wondering why I go by the name Garner. Uh, <laughs> well, actually... <laughs> Was your first set like this, or did you have like a normal process, like the beginning of it? Uh, I sung, uh, I sung "Chandelier" by Sia uh, for like four minutes at a talent show uh, with no music, and uh, and there was like 150 people was at a talent show at uh, Georgia Southern University, and yep, oh, all right, there he is. Yep, uh, don't know what that was. <laughs> Yep, you know the old Georgia Southern saying. Yep, uh, uh, <laughs> and uh, I was running around singing "Chandelier" by Sia. Nobody laughed at all. Zero people, and uh, zero people laughed, and zero people cheered. And there was one girl, and she went, "What is he doing?" And I think about that before I get on stage every time. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> and how long have you been doing stand-up full-time? Uh, I've been doing stand-up for seven years. Seven yeah. years. We're all of it here in Austin? Uh, I've been here since July. I started in Atlanta, and uh, I lived in Boise, Idaho for three years. Oh, okay. Yeah, big Boise crap. Boise's yeah. a great city. I've been to Boise. I've had fun in Boise. Yeah, yeah. Y'all did your show there. My friend Nick Daniels was on it four years ago. Yeah. Uh, remember absolutely uh, <laughs> yeah i do i was the one time that i was in boise uh yeah liquid laughs is that what it's uh -huh. called yeah oh man they used to have me host at liquid and i know you would think that it would go so good and it <laughs> 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 they banned they banned me from hosting wow yeah which i've never <laughs> they were like we we it was like uh, the woman and one other person we think you're great <laughs> Everybody else fucking hate it. Wow. <laughs> like, oh, what did I do? Rub my nipples and talk about John Benet Ramsey? Yeah. <laughs> what about that is unappealing? Right. <laughs> and that was a few years ago that that happened. Yeah, that was like three years ago. Right. Yeah. And uh, what do you love about Austin? You're here full time. What are some of your favorite things to do around town? What is a guy like you that walks sideways with your arms <laughs> out to your sides? Like, what do you do for fun? <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I listen to a lot of book about... <laughs> a lot of book? <laughs> a, lot of the, a lot of the same book. Uh, <laughs> it's a biography of Gerald Ford. Uh... <laughs> A true American. <laughs> uh, no, man. Yeah, I lived in my car for a long time, which tracks. And then I, I had a house. I, had, I live in a home now. I play basketball with the comics. And, really? Uh, you play yeah. basketball? Yeah, we're going to go play tomorrow. I can't really picture that. Did someone just say play basketball? How? Wow. <laughs> 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 That's the fucking weirdest heck. Oh, yeah, you play basketball. Name five basketballs. <laughs> Casey Rocket, you're absolutely a machine. What are what what are, what are you looking forward to? Like, uh, what what's what are your what do you what made you pick Austin, Texas? Um, Y'all came here and uh, Joe Rogan and I heard all the comedians making a big. Exodus down here, so I thought it'd be uh, fun. We could all start some new yeah. together. And oh, wow. And have fun. Wow, you yeah. got serious for a second yeah. there. I thought you were going to talk about fucking. <laughs> some yeah. 41 and oh, yeah. <laughs> rubbing your belly button or something yeah. like that, but you gave an actual answer. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's normally my closer. Yeah. <laughs> some 40, I sing the, in the entirety of some 41s. <laughs> Sophomore album, some 42. <laughs> don't, don't, 
Don't hit the don't hit the drums. <laughs> I don't deserve that. <laughs> Casey, we're, we're what do you what that. do you think the worst joke you've ever done on stage is? Singing Sia is more of an experimental. Uh, Wait, can I tell thing. you what the best joke he did is? Yeah. When he busts out the harmonica for less than a second. <laughs> yeah, that is incredible. I didn't even <laughs> see it. I heard it. It's true. Yeah, keep do, them guessing. Keep them on their toes, baby. Yeah. Do, you use, do you use it more when you have more time, or is this just uh, you just play the one note? <laughs> Pretends like he's listening hard. <laughs> uh, I, I had it in my car. I keep it on me, man. I keep the grimace stuff on me. Keep the harmonica on me. You what? never know when you're going to need to riff, man. What like, else do you have in your <laughs> pockets? Oh, okay. Good question. What else is in those pockets? Uh-oh. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, my God. We wouldn't even have found out about this. We would not have even found out a picture of Grimace and Charlie Sheen. Just in case you get in real trouble. Oh, my goodness. Down the shirt it goes. Somehow it didn't fall out of the bottom. Okay, there you go. Very sly. Literally a better magician than Michael Lair could ever be. Absolutely incredible. This is unbelievable. Do you have anything else that we should know about in your pockets, Casey? Oh, man, that's what other it. Grimace merch you got on you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, yeah, it's funny. If you wouldn't have brought that up, I would have just kept it in my pocket and then got in my car and be like, oh, man, I almost forgot to show the picture <laughs> of Grimace and Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Fucking loser. You deserve to live in your car, you big nippled freak. <laughs> How Kate. big are these nipples? Can we see the nipples? <laughs> There's no chance we could be that lucky, right? Oh my goodness. He's, oh, they're so big he can pull them out of the top. <laughs> oh. They're not that big. They're just regular. <laughs> they're just regular nipples. I think I got scared. <laughs> And they got smaller. <laughs> you like check to see if you still had them. <laughs> oh, these old things? <laughs> you want to see my nipples in these old rags? You keep those in your pockets, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah I got six nipples like a Rottweiler. It's a hey, joke. Casey. <laughs> it's a joke I He do. just showed us the smallest one. <laughs> Now, now, Casey's been a, a staple of the secret show that I do every Thursday for a while. But, Casey, I've been putting together a tour uh, right now. I would love uh, for you to come on the road with me. Oh, yeah. oh look at that. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Cool. It's, yeah. A tour, it's a tour of Italy at the Olive Garden. And Secret Show Thursday, also. I'll be there. Yeah, that'd be awesome, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Indeed. Very cool. Uh, yeah. Casey Rocket. Yeah, I truly believe that you are, uh, without a doubt, not only one of the future stars of comedy, but I think you're one of the present stars of comedy. I absolutely love it when true murders sign up for this show and bless us with a real performance and show everybody how it should be done in their own special way. That's the real you, and you do it your way, and it's fucking amazing. Come on, guys. Make some noise for Casey Rocket, everybody. Casey, take one of those. That's a real fucking leather joke book. This is a real badass here, folks. You're going to be seeing him for the rest of your life. God help us when TV executives are allowed to give straight white males something again. That boy's going to be everywhere. What you're about to see is truly a guy who, well, right now, working a door shift right now, is truly going to continuously never stop moving up in the comedy game. And you're going to remember that you were at this show the night that you saw him, perhaps for the very first time. You may know him already, a local legend. Ladies and gentlemen, Casey Rocket. <laughs> I never made it as a wise man. <laughs> Get real, real trap shit. Come on. Fastest guy in the room who gives a shit. Come on. <laughs> Gotta keep moving, fellas. Putin's trying to triangulate my position right now. 
Get lost, come on. <laughs> oh, back in a Parmesan? Okay, we're having fun, is it, me guys, huh? Get real. <laughs> I'm doing an hour and a half, who gives a fuck? We're closing it down. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pranked your ass, come on, man. Damn, a roast comic and a prop comic? What is this, the worst shit you've ever fucking seen? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Goddamn, Putin hates this motherfucker. He can't stand me, boys, I'll tell you. <laughs> hey, Putin, I got five words for you, sweetie. Never made it as a wise man. Come on. He's <laughs> up here riffing our hearts out, boys. Come on now. <laughs> I won't lie to you folks, I got six more harmonicas hidden around the room here tonight. <laughs> In six minutes, the room will start filling with water. You have six minutes to find the remaining harmonicas. <laughs> you didn't think the crab was bluffing, did you? <laughs> Big pranks daily. Yeah, I used to prank myself all the time in college. It was called, what? Taking Xanax. Who's with me, boys, huh? <laughs> I was like, hey, Casey, hear me out. I know you got an 8 a.m., but what if you woke up in jail? Okay. <laughs> Never made it as a wise man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I've had a lot of weird jobs in my life. I used to strip copper off Malaysian Flight 370. Uh, <laughs> before it took off. Uh, <laughs> that's on me. Come on. <laughs> Scientists can't stand me. <laughs> I just got diagnosed with reverse Benjamin Button's disease last week. <laughs> that's where I age normally, but I what? Still have the penis of a baby. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Guys, the Stuart Little stuff's working. Come on. Oh, it's not Stuart Little. Hey, I got some for you. It's a picture of Grimace during the fall of Berlin. So, <laughs> hey. We're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yeah, you just put it, you want to pass it around? <laughs> Everybody take a peek at it. Everybody gets a turn. Everybody gets a turn. Okay. I got something for you guys. A second picture of Grimace at the fall of Berlin. So, guys, <laughs> get eyes up front. Come on. <laughs> I come from old money. I got hundreds of these things. I got briefcases full of shit like that. You would not believe it. Fucking Biden's pissed, trust me. <laughs> I come from old money. My dad was that paperclip on Microsoft Word. I don't even need to be here tonight. <laughs> Talking about how can I help you. For starters, he could have drove me to football practice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Drunk bastard, you know. But that was dad. That was dad. I'm gonna Blair Witch this set. <laughs> never what, never who what, wise man. <laughs> Nights like these, I always think about my grandpa, folks. When I was a kid, my grandpa used to always, always sit down and he used to always give me the best advice. He used to always sit me down and go, <laughs> That was grandpa. You know. He was almost completely nonverbal, you know, it's just the way it was. And when he did talk, it was always about industrial society and its future, you know, but that was grandpa. He was a unibomber, you know what I mean? <laughs> Since the 90s, you could unibomb back then, okay? Come on now. Here's the thing about taking pills, folks. If you don't want me to take so many pills, <laughs> don't make them so small. If Oxycontin was the size of cheeseburgers, nobody would overdose on it. <laughs> oh, no thanks, I couldn't possibly have another Perk 30. I've had three, dude, I'm stuffed. 
I could eat 200 Ambien. I could keep 200 Ambien right now. Fucking Pelosi couldn't do a thing to stop me either, I'll tell you. <laughs> I could eat 200 Ambien and still have enough room in me to eat a Philly cheesesteak while I'm checking all the car door handles in my apartment complex. <laughs> Never who, what, wise man. Thank you guys, I'm Casey Rocket. Wow, hey. wow, 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 wow. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Casey Rocket. Holy shit. Thank you. An absolute fucking firestorm. Jokes, constant movement, <laughs> extreme entertainment. You are such you. an original, such a force. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I gotta go back to the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the clock. <laughs> I'm, I'm on a riff-based salary. <laughs> it's 100 riffs an hour, it's like six coins or so. It's coin-based. <laughs> no riffs, no coins, eight coins, eight riffs. You know how it is, you guys get it. You coin are based. the shit. You are working right now. Uh, Shane, what do you think about the young buck, I KC love Rock? I love it, I saw him, uh, was it last night? Yeah. Two nights ago, yeah, it was hilarious, dude. Oh, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. It's great. It. <laughs> yeah. It's great. You got to stop complimenting people so hard on the intros. It seemed like it he worked survived. out. He survived. He survived that. It seemed like it, he just got a standing ovation. No, <laughs> I know. No, it, was, it wasn't for your fucking intro. Well, I know it wasn't from the intro. <laughs> no, I'm saying you got to. It's a tough. You can't. We bring someone out. You can't go. This guy is the next Big thing. You're gonna remember this forever. Yeah. That's a huge amount of pressure. Yeah. Yeah, well. but that's how good he is. Like we yeah. know that he's gonna fuck. Guys, do yeah. you're doing exactly what I said not to do. Yeah. <laughs> it's not getting through, is it? What I'm saying. No, it's that's all. That's, all right. that's old New York rhetoric. What you're speaking right now. <laughs> Dude, I've been in New York for two years. Oh, okay. <laughs> in any matter, we knew Casey could fall. Anyway, yeah. Casey, you're great. Thank you. Um, Shane, uh, you were at Creek and Cave like four months ago, and my buddy um, named Gareth Fisk had the picture of Grimace at the fall of Berlin, because I leave him all around like a breadcrumb trail, and uh, in case I didn't take too many Ambien, fucking get lost. And uh, he had it outside yeah. Creek, and he said he was all the way across Creek, Creek and Cave, and you were like, hey man, is that a picture of Grimace at the fall of Berlin? <laughs> like, you like, you like clocked it. Yo, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Cool. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Casey, I'm interested to know. I don't know uh, what if you're going to... I don't know. I don't even know what the real you is like at all. But I'm going to ask it anyway. You talk a lot about prescription pills throughout your act. Uh, do you really take a lot of pills? I used to take a lot of pills. Eat a lot of pills. Yeah. What was that like? What, what, and then how did you stop? How did what, what? What were you into? What was going on? Is that all like kind of based off of your former life? Yeah, yeah. I used to drink a lot of Robitussin and uh, yeah, eat a lot of delicious stinky little pills, delicious devious pills, and um, for stinky little boys. And I don't like that part. Um, but yeah, I used to I didn't like the end. Uh, yeah, take a lot of pills, eat a lot of pills. What was your question? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I used to eat a lot of pills, and then I just stopped. Yeah, I had a bad... I'm sober. I've been sober for a while. I've been sober for two years, probably. Wow. Yeah. You have that You have that sober snap. Yeah. Just brave. Just really brave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, other than stand-up comedy, which obviously you're getting a lot of uh, validation and dopamine and serotonin from that, but other than stand-up, what else are you into? Everything? I was having something going on with the microphone. This place is haunted. Uh, it is pretty creepy. <laughs> after, after a shift, me and the door guys just go around and look for treasure until like 4 a.m. It's awesome. There's holes in all the drywall. Um, have you found, what have you found? What kind of treasures have you found? Skellington. So Skeleton. Skellington. 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 <laughs> ja Dozens of Skellingtons. Dozens and hundreds, possibly hundreds of Skellingtons. <laughs> <laughs> no better treasure than skeletons. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no treasure. I can't remember the other part of the, part of the question. Yeah, it's fun. Everything's going it's great. Absolutely. 
you've been doing a lot of spots. This mm-hmm. is your second spot tonight, probably, right? You already did the other room? Yeah, I did the little room, taught him a lesson they'll probably never forget, honestly. <laughs> Goddamn right. <laughs> Goddamn right. This is big fat laughs for cool dudes. Um, <laughs> it was badass. He thinks so, too. And it's awesome. Yeah, this is second set for me. I think, honestly, I have shin splints. You ever seen uh, The Wrestler with Mickey Rourke? Yeah. That's what I felt like when I was up here. This is, like, this is my Ram Jam. This is my Ram Jam set. I'm gonna be, doctors told me like six months ago, they were like, you gotta stop riffing like that. <laughs> if you wanna riff with your kids, <laughs> if you wanna riff with your kids in, in six years, like the timetable's that low. They're like, six years from now, you gotta think about your body. And I was like, what if wieners were haunted, pussy? And uh, yeah. just a riff, like, fired off a riff, like, off the dome. And he was like, whoa, that was awesome. <laughs> That's <laughs> incredible. You, you are an cool. unstoppable force. Uh, there's nothing uh, other than uh, you relapsing on pills and overdosing that can possibly <laughs> stop the trajectory of your career. My question's this, because we're all going to watch you uh, continuously. I mean, um, you know, we watched what Hans has done over the past couple of years, and you are uh, just a freak You of could nature. be the next Hans Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Keep working. But what I want to know is, at this stage right now, what's your uh, living situation like? Because uh, normally... Yeah, oh, uh, I think I lived in my car last time, right? Yeah, I got two cars. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Top and bottom. <laughs> yeah, there's a, I had a crane drop them off. You can't sleep in them, but they're fucking there. Uh, <laughs> they're there, and you go, that, yeah. this is me. <laughs> <laughs> Crawl up the steps. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Are you still sleeping in a car? <laughs> no, I got a home. I have a home, and yeah, full couch, dresser, home stuff. Yeah, TV station, and not TV that. A TV, <laughs> not, okay, I'm spiraling. Yeah, I got a TV. Uh, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Take it down. Uh, got a TV. Not the laughs. Okay. Uh, Jesus Christ. I'm in the riff zone right now. Somebody stop me. This entire set. This entire set's being fed to me through a pair of Bluetooth headphones right now. Uh, <laughs> a homeless man in Boca Raton. Uh, <laughs> you're the crap man. Uh, 90s shit. Yeah, I used to. Uh, yeah, I have a home. It's awesome, and I got all my DVDs and my things and my, and my special posters. Here's a question that I always. <laughs> Here's a question that I always ask people. How many roommates do you have? I just have one. I live with my girlfriend. Whoa! Look at that. Ooh, the crab, the, the crab put, got his claws on someone, huh? Okay, let me ask you this, Casey, because I've asked a lot of people this question, and I want to know your answer. The weirdest thing that you have in your refrigerator. You can take a second to think about it if you'd like. Picture the door, picture the drawers, picture the top, the bottom. Perhaps even the freezer, if that qualifies for you. But Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, weirdest thing in the fridge. Damn. Probably a little Petri dish I've been doing an experiment on. Oh. It's got to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think, Probably. Yeah, I don't think Petri dish is second <laughs> yeah, to anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Number one, Petri dish. Number two, lemon. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. A guy like me, that's all you need. You know, fat riffs, one lemon, fucking fat ass Petri dish full of all kinds of goo. Mystery I, shit. Can I have some of those gels out of the blaster? Actually, we have. Uh, we ha- you're going to get your own entire gel blaster Very right after cool. this set. <laughs> Thank you. This Kate, show, Casey, available I, in stores everywhere. I would love to have you on the Secret Show Thursday if there you can. You have to do it. Booked I'd on the show. He did two of my shows yesterday. Two shows here tonight. This guy's going to continue. This is. His Petri dish, the comedy mothership. Catch him here all the time. One of the newest, strongest employees. How about one more time, good and loud, for the future, Casey Rocket. Oh, yeah. Know him, but uh, I think you guys are going to absolutely love him. He's been on this show before. I'm allowing him to do whatever he really wants tonight. We're just going to let him rock it up here because this is indeed the one and only Austin's own Casey Rocket. I really 
really can't stay. Hell yeah, get lost. Real trap shit. Come on now, get out of here. I gotta get out of here. At midnight, I turn back into Kirsten Dunst, so just gotta keep moving. Peter, please! <laughs> get real. Big Uncle Ben crowd, get out of here. <laughs> Come on now, I'm just popping it. I got nothing to lose. <laughs> Hell yeah. No, I gotta get out of here. My buddy found some original Oxycontin in his attic last night, so... We're gonna get faded and watch Yao Ming highlights later. Should be badass. <laughs> you move good for a big man, don't he? <laughs> Come on, man. Folks, a lot of people talk about being California sober. Me, I'm Biloxi, Mississippi sober. Uh, that's where I do a bunch of whippets and lose my son on a riverboat gambling trip. How much will you credit me for the boy? <laughs> it's okay, go with the nice man. Get real. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I promised my buddy I would do jihad later, so I gotta get going. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> We're having fun. Youngest guy around, I have nothing to lose. Just being brave. Oh, sorry about that. Red peppers, all right, we're doing good. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, never meet your heroes, folks. We all know the Lorax speaks for the trees. <laughs> but in 2007, I saw him say the N-word. Okay. <laughs> I just gotta keep moving. Biden's trying to drone strike me right now. I can feel it. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah, <for> real. <laughs> yeah, I hate Ambien. I'm glad you brought that up. I, uh... <laughs> Last time I took Ambien, I accidentally donated my car to 1877 Cars for Kids. <laughs> Fucked up part is, I live in my car. Uh, now I gotta live with all these little kids. <laughs> Breathe in. We're having fun. <laughs> Folks, there's no easy way to tell a child their parents are dead. <laughs> there's no easy way to tell a child their parents are dead. There is a really, really fucking scary way to do it. <laughs> Get over here, goofball. Your dad fell on the grill at Benihana's last night. Thought he was gonna pull through, then they brought out the onion volcano. <laughs> He's fucking dead. Hell yeah. <laughs> I lost my hat. <laughs> get real. Oh, let me show you something. I'll get out of here. Uh... This is a picture of me if I was really, really strong. So that's kind of cool. All right. Thank you. I'm Casey Rocket. Thank you so much. Boom. This is Casey Rocket. A whole different thing. A whole different anomaly, if you will. A phenomenon. An absolute rocket ship flying through space. Thank you. Um, and there are so many things we could call him, and here he is. The one and only Casey Rocket, a man who I famously have I, I've always just let him do whatever he wants. The only one to have that, uh, to have that real um, um, limitless time length or whatever bestowed upon you. And uh, how about one more time for KC Rock? Please. Thank you. So KC, um, seems like uh, you're doing a lot of work here in Austin, Texas. You're getting a lot of, uh, oh, there he goes, everybody. There, Where'd my KC hat Rocket, go? Everyone. Oh, you found my hat. Sorry, I'm not trying to do a bit. I get really yeah. scared. All right, hello. No, it's okay, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> what happened? Nothing. Hey. Uh, how's it going? So good today. 
Hi, uh, it's going great. Hanging out, being yeah. bad, mommy's little stinker. Uh, <laughs> being a brat and yeah, just keeping it cool. Uh, spazzing out on some old school shit and just keeping it nasty with my boys tonight. Absolutely hysterical. He uh, is a fucking, he leaves an imprint on every show that he does here at the Comedy Mothership. I go up usually obviously kind of obviously towards the back end of these lineups um, on, uh, on some workout nights in the little room here. And I'll always know if Casey Rocket has hit the stage that night. There'll be little pictures of uh, Grimace or him or uh, random people doing random things. There'll be Parmesan cheese packets or red pepper packets. There'll be sometimes there's a harmonica sitting on a ledge. There's yep. things. There's a lot of trademarks of the Greek. Oh, yeah. there you go. <laughs> See what I? There, it is. There are many trademarks of the man, the myth, and the legend. And this guy fucking <laughs> shakes rooms, you know? We all have different sense of humors. It's such an interesting thing. And you seem to turn uh, the people that love silly shit and the people that like smart shit both uh, as uh, fans. You're able to win them both over. Thank you so much, Tony. That's a big honor. Uh, it's so good to be here tonight. <laughs> um, to riff for all my friends and keep it nasty and bust it wide open for all my crew. And... Uh, <laughs> I think Santa's going to be pretty happy with that one. That was really badass. No doubt about it. Guys, uh, William, you actually take Casey Rocket on the road with you, and uh, he features for you. I believe you guys just did seven shows in Chicago. We did. Yeah, no, Casey's wonderful. Casey honestly is, in my opinion, he's without a doubt the funniest person I've met while in Austin. I absolutely love Casey. There were... There's a, always a couple of times, but I remember in San Diego, I was back in the fucking green room, probably way too high, about to go on, and I'm hearing Casey just destroy out there, and I'm thinking, how the fuck am I going to follow this guy? <laughs> and I wasn't able to. It turned into a disaster. I left the stage really early. Everybody's like, hold on, we paid money for this shit. I was on stage like five minutes. So. But wonderful job, Casey. It's wonderful to always see you. Yeah, we were in Chicago. Uh, did you talk about it on the podcast? What happened? I just said the thing about how we had to pay the $1,500 to be for in the, freezer. the freezer experience. That was one of the darker <laughs> moments of my life. Is uh, There's two you can, <laughs> you can pay. There's two different tiers. So $1,500 to be in the freezer, and then $500 to be outside the freezer just listening. And that... <laughs> That was kind of cooler. I was on the outside of it. And I was going, you okay? And you said, I am so cold. Yeah, I was freezing. <laughs> uh, I was like, go get me out. And I said, it's not like you got to wait the whole time or we don't get a refund. And you were cool about that, which was nice. Yeah. Uh, Cam Patterson, uh, you know Casey Rocket very, very well. Uh, you just retired uh, from being a door guy here, but you guys work together as door guys here yeah. at the mothership. Uh, Dude, my nigga, man, we locked in, man. You know what I'm saying? I love Casey. This We're locked in, in for sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> of all the people who are locked in, on, probably it's up. us. Yeah, yeah definitely. For real. You know about that package, right? That one package? The one package. Yeah. Oh, that. Yeah. 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 We locked in for real. <laughs> we got this one package, and we keep well, it pretty cool. We keep cool. it pretty cool, pretty We keep tight. it pretty tight. You know what I'm saying? And gun? then uh, it's a gun. No, no, we just got a package around the mother We got a package. We got a package around here. Oh, a unit. A unit. Okay. And a Are you close with a lot of black people? <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Yeah, hundreds. Yeah, we've been doing a thing tonight. Your hundreds <laughs> is a perfect answer. We've been doing a thing tonight where we okay. ask some comedians to name five black friends using, uh, I, I guess, only their first names if you want, or you could do it any way you want. But five of my black friends. Five of your black friends. Ready? That set, should be pretty easy. Go. <laughs> James. Big John, James Jr. It was a father and a son, James and James Jr. Uh, Big J, that's Big J Okerson. That's not a black guy, take it down. Uh, <laughs> me and Big J, as you know, are notoriously really tight. Um, Audrey Hepburn, nope, missed again. Um, oh God, Ra's Ghoul, that's a Batman guy. I'm always one riff away from Raza Ghoul. I find that a lot. Uh, Ocho Cinco. Yeah. And Donovan McNabb. Donovan McNabb, very good. 
Absolutely. Those are indeed. It checks out. We just got word in. Those are your black friends. Baking soda. Thank I you. Yeah. Hans Kim, uh, you know KC Rocket very, very well. Uh, yes. Any, uh, any take on uh, anything you want to say about the great and powerful Austin Zone, KC Rocket? I mean, this is one of these guys, I don't think you guys even understand, like, other than, like, the old, old, oldest guard in New York and L.A., I would put this guy out there to bury about anybody on the coast right now. I mean, really, I don't think it gets much funnier. And that's all a different set than what he did the five, four or five minutes you performed last time. I mean, you, you're doing it all the time. I watch you. Yeah. There are things that you do. Like, what's the... Sometimes you keep a key in your mouth and pull it out. The Dutchman's key? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've been known to do the Dutchman's key from time to time. He'll hide, uh, a, he'll hide a key deep <laughs> into his cheek and do like, you know, five or ten minutes of an act, and then all of a sudden just... <laughs> and he pulls out a fucking key. And that makes me <laughs> like, run around like a black person laughing. I don't laugh like a white person when I see that at all. Run around like Donovan McNabb. Yes. One of my close I, like, friends. Scram um, scrambling quarterback. It's funny, yeah, when Mothership opened, I... Uh, maybe the first couple weeks I did one of your David Lucas and friends and I went up pretty late in the show and I did the Dutchman's Key and it was completely almost completely silent and I heard you <laughs> it's not a good bit but the Dutchman's Key it's kind of like so you give them a riff and then you keep a riff for yourself and that was a tasty little riff just, just for me and it was totally silent I barf out the key I'm comfortable saying this because I don't do the Dutchman's Key too often uh, it's sort of a special occasion thing. I hit him with a Dutchman's key. Crowd goes, holy shit, we don't like that. Um, <laughs> holy shit, actually, I kind of hate that. And Tony's like, ha <laughs> yeah. like, like way off in the distance. I love it. There's something about somebody secretly keeping a key in their mouth for an inordinate amount of time and then pretending like they're choking it up from the inside that uh, really cracks me up. Hans yeah. Kim, ready to say something. You think that's impressive? You should see what Tony hides in his booty hole. Whoa, there you go. Hans, why'd you fucking do that, dude? Look at that. You're gonna get us in trouble. Little fucking hacky Chan <laughs> over here. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Casey, you're an absolute fucking sensation and Thank an you. unbelievable representative of uh, silly fucking comedy. I really think, I mean, it's like if Robin Williams uh, smoked crack with a fucking, uh, I don't even know what. You're just something entirely different than everything, and I love it. Casey Rock, ladies you guys. and gentlemen. So fun.